Hello friends, today we'll learn about anesthesia. I think there's a cavity in your tooth and you need an extraction. Don't worry buddy, your anesthesiologist will use anesthesia before the procedure and you'll feel no pain. Let me explain all about anesthesia. Anesthesia is a medical treatment that prevents patients from feeling pain during procedures like surgery, diagnostic tests, dental work, and tissue sample removal. They may be given by injection, inhalation, spray, eye drops, topical lotion, or skin patch. Anesthesia was first used on October 16, 1846 by a dentist, William T.G. Morton. The surgery was a success, and the modern age of anesthesia was born. There are three main types of anesthesia. Local anesthesia. It is a one-time injection of medicine that numbs a small area of the body. It's used for performing dental procedures, a skin biopsy, or stitching a deep cut. Lidocaine is the most widely used local anesthetic and works within a few minutes. Local anesthetics work by preventing the nerves in the affected area from communicating sensations of pain to your brain. You'll be awake and alert, but you won't feel pain in the area being treated. Full sensations return after the medicine has worn off a few hours later. Regional anesthesia. It is a type of pain management for surgery that numbs a large part of the body, such as from the waist down, Spinal and epidural anesthesia are examples of regional anesthesia. It's often used for orthopedic surgery, gynecological procedures, and for operations on the bladder and urinary tract. The doctor injects spinal anesthetic into the fluid around your spinal cord. It blocks the transmission of afferent nerve signals from peripheral nociceptors, which eliminates pain for about two to three hours. Epidural anesthesia is preferred during labor and delivery because with this anesthetic, the mother can still actively participate in the baby's birth. The medication is delivered through a catheter into the space around the spinal nerves, known as the epidural space. It stops pain signals from traveling from the spine to the brain. Patients start to feel numb within 10 to 20 minutes and will experience no pain throughout the entire surgery or procedure. Sometimes CSE is used, which is a combination of a spinal injection and an epidural. General anesthesia. It affects the whole body. It's used during heart surgery, brain surgery, or organ transplants. Such anesthetic drugs include propofol, etomidate, and isoflurane. It's administered through a mask or an IV placed in the vein. It usually puts you to sleep in less than 30 seconds. This anesthesia changes the character of brain waves. Brain regions can no longer communicate with each other, resulting in deep unconsciousness and patient is ready for surgery. Surgery and anesthesia are safer today than ever before. Thanks for continuing advances in science. Now, you know a lot about anesthesia. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.